My name is Wayne Perry, and I'm a natural product developer. And we're here in our lab today to ask for your support for probably one of the most important projects that we'll ever work on. It has to do with autism. Now, I'm the parent of an autistic child. My son's only three years old. He's getting all the therapy in the world. We're doing everything for him. And since the day he was diagnosed, autism has become my life. So I've taken my expertise and put it into all the research I could to find new ways of dealing with the symptoms related to autism, or as they say, autism spectrum disorders. One of the most promising things I've found is using therapeutic essential oils. Essential oils have definitely been proven to be used on a lot of different um, disorders with mood swings, mood changes, focus, sleep disorders, and things like that. There's been a couple of decent small studies using therapeutic essential oils for um, disorders related to autism. Things like Asperger's syndrome, autism in general. How essential oils work is they affect the, the processes of the brain, those parts of the brain that really control your overall system. The limbic part of the brain, essentially, which um, helps you with thought, with memory, with mood, um, sleep, energy, uh, pain sensations, all the things that kids with autism face, all these sensory issues and being able to focus and being able to have correct motor planning from their brain to their mouth, etc. And what we need to do here is to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that therapeutic essential oils can work with treatments or in combination with therapies for autism. And that's what I aim to do here. The problem is, autism's huge. Nobody can deny it. It's one in 88 American kids now. One in 54 boys. Yet the government and the pharmaceutical industry doesn't seem to really care about it. The pharmaceutical business, they don't want to touch it because dealing with essential oils, they can't patent something and make billions off of it. So they only care about their bottom line. And the government seems to be sweeping a lot of it under the rug, maybe because they know what's causing it and, and they don't want us to know. But regardless of that part of, of the whole autism controversy, we need to do something to find new therapies that can help. And essential oils are hugely promising. But we need to do a clinical study through an accredited institution so that it's taken seriously by the world. And that's what we're looking for your support here. We need help to raise enough money so that we can do a true clinical trial using essential oil therapy, inhalation therapy, for kids and adults on the autism spectrum. And that's what we aim to do here. And it costs a lot of money. The bottom line is we're asking for $250,000, but in truth, we really need more to do everything we want to do. But it's a start. We can get one clinical study going, and we can find out does this work for real or not? Can we incorporate this into the modern therapies for autism? Because believe me, the numbers are growing every day. Since the year 2000, cases of diagnosed autism have doubled. And you can you know, debate about the controversy of, well, it's just that there's more reporting standards, etc. I don't personally believe that. And regardless of that, we need to find new ways to help these kids and adults. And I do believe that inhalation therapy with essential oils could be the answer. But we have to prove it. So we need your help. And, and we're not looking to you know, develop a product that can be sold for profit. What we're looking to do is to develop something that be, can be given out free across the world to therapists, to doctors, to educators, to parents. That's what we're looking to do. But nobody's going to take this seriously unless we can at least get one major clinical study under our belt.